All right, so if you're ready, we'll get started here. Uh, we have a super interesting video. We're going to compare Chechen and Arabic. So before we get to doing the words and the sentences, we'll just do a quick introduction and then we'll uh, jump into it. So you can go ahead and introduce yourself whenever you're ready. Okay, so shall you start? <laughs> yeah, my name is Diana and I'm, and I'm an Arab living in uh, Moscow. I'm from Syria. Okay. Um, uh, hello, I'm Elmira and I'm Chechen, living in Moscow as well. Perfect. Uh, so we're going to do uh, one, like we're just going to do words, seven words each, basically. And then with the last one, you're going to do a sentence. Okay. The first word is uh, da'im. Da'im? Yeah. It's always. Right. <laughs> in Arabic, it's da'iman. Great. Da My first word is asa. Asa, well, in Chechen it's as, and it means like a stick or cane. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> uh, the next word is <coughs> eskar. Eskar? Eskar. Eskar? It's sugar? Mm, no. Really. Eskar. Maybe edgar. Mm hmm. And what could it mean? Or another thing? I don't know. I have to, <laughs> I have to think about it. Askar. Or. Askar. Askar. Yeah, it's military. Yes, right. <laughs> wow, Askar. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, my second word is Bata. Bata. So, well, actually, if you literally look at Chechen dictionary, so it will mean like a uh, mouth or a muzzle, but... Bata. Bata. Okay, so I think it's uh, in Chechen bad, which means uh, duck. Yeah, right. <laughs> Great. Okay, the next one is uh, Sheko. Sheko? Yeah. It's hard. Because a lot of uh, uh, sounds, they are not the same as the Arabic language. Sheko? Sheko. Sheko, like in Chechen, is like more softened, the first sound. Mm. No, I don't know that. Sheko, like. Sheko? No. But I don't know. <laughs> I okay, don't know try to think thoroughly what kind of something like close to the well, it's actually close with Arabic word. So like, it's just the way you pronounce it in Arabic is slightly different. You emphasize part of it more, so I can see why it becomes a little tricky. Yeah, I didn't know that will be hard. <laughs> Can I I'll, can I say it in Persian? Because I think that might be closer yeah. to Arabic. We say shak. Shak. Oh my God! There is another word is shakwa. So shak. Yeah, shak. Doubt. Yeah, doubt. Right. Doubt. Great. Shak. Great. Okay. Qala. Okay. Mhm. Mm Qala. So. Is it like qalam in Chechen, like pencil? No, no, no. Qalam in Arabic, it's pencil. Oh. Yeah, qala'a. So, is it like mm, castle? Yeah. So, in Chechen it's ghala. But the thing is that in Chechen this word has double meaning. So, it can mean like CC, well, it's mostly used as a CC, mm -hmm. but there is another meaning like castle. Gala? Uh, yes. Okay, the next word Your turn. is uh, kiss. It's keys in Arabic, it's like bag or something, but it's plastic. How can we say it in English? I just so, forgot. You're, you're right, case. in Arabic, I, but I believe in Chechen, it's more like a pocket. Exactly, right? yeah, so yeah. It's more like a pocket. 
Pakis. It's it's the same. It's derived uh, from the Arabic. Yeah, word, pouch. But, yeah. Right. Pouch. Yes, it's pouch. So, yeah. Great. Okay, sore. Sore. So, uh, it's a photo. Yeah, but it's not a one photo. A lot of photos. Photos. Mm -hmm. Sore. Because uh, one photo is sura in Arabic language. Mm -hmm. So in Chechen it's uh, surt, and surt. many photos is uh, surt. Surt. Hmm. Your turn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the next one is um, masal. Masal, like masala. <laughs> not like masal powder. <laughs> it's not spice. <laughs> masal. Yeah. Hmm. Give me an example. So uh, <laughs> you probably just answered this. Ah, Mithel. Yeah. Mithel, Mithel, actually in Arabic language. Mithel. Yes. Daraja. Daraja. So it's like um, it's degree. So a gray. And in Chechen it's darj. Darj. Yeah. Okay. So the next word is. Um, um calm yeah oh, you you just say calm um? yes it's glottal like um calm 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 no it's not calm <laughs> no it's not <laughs> well, i don't know help okay for the third time <laughs> um it's like uh not one person, so it's like a home, yeah, home. A lot of people, yeah. Uh, how can we say it in English? It's like nation, nation, yes. yeah. Come with earth, yeah. My god, it's um. hard. Come, <laughs> miskin, miskin. So it's four in Chechen, it's misk, yeah, like it's easy, misk, <laughs> misk, yeah. In misk in Arabic, it's another thing. So, yes, but we use it as a four, mm -hmm. <laughs> four things. <Yes. laughs> so my word is a uh, peel. It's feel, elephant. Yeah. <laughs> I know that uh, F in Chechen it will be P. So. <laughs> right. There is no alpha uh, consonant uh, yeah. sound in the Chechen. So. Even in name Fatima, you say Fatima maybe. Yes. Fatima. Yeah. We <laughs> are going to be yes neutral, so yeah. Great. And my word is Ghalta. Ghalta. So it's a Ghalat in Chechen and it means like mistake. Yeah. Mistake. So in your sentence, the, the one thing I just wanted to say, like, just like all the other videos, like, see if you can pick out the word, because this part is a little challenging, right? And if you can just use the word to somehow figure out the sentence, then give it a shot. But if you can't, just give each other hints and see if you can figure it out. Okay. And if not, then just translate it. Okay. Um, so you can go ahead and read the Chechen sentence. Okay, my sentence is... Um, it's Anna Hava. Mokshalin Another time. It's Anna Hava And the word is? Try to spot it in my sentence. <laughs> Maybe Hava, because it's the, uh, the Arabic word here. Hava, <laughs> air. Yes, it's actually, uh, yeah, in Chechen it's like Hava. So, but yeah, it means uh, air, mm -hmm. right. Translate your sentence. No? So my sentence means like a fresh air is necessary for the health. Mm -hmm. Wait, wow. My sentence is. أعطني دفتر من الدفاتر. أعطني دفترا من الدفاتر. Could you repeat the last word? دفاتر. Uh, no, like after this one. Okay. أعطني دفترا من الدفاتر mm -hmm. so i can 
sense there like the word uh, dafter, which means which means uh, in Chechen like again um, the foot turned in support. So in Chechen, in Chechen is like um, tepter, so which yeah. means notebook. Yes, but great. Could you tell me the meaning of the sentence? Yeah, give me one of the notebooks. Oh, so uh, the last word was plural. Mm -hmm. Got it. Mm -hmm. The fatter. Oh. The fatter one, the fatter. Okay. Three or more. In Chechen, we just add like um, at the end. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. <get> fresh. <laughs> so, I got it. Plural. <laughs> Great. I like it. Awesome. That was really good. That was great. I'm, I'm really happy that we were able to organize it like this. I want to say thanks so much for, for setting it up and getting together to do this. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Well, you're very welcome yeah. because it's something that I've always wanted to do. Me too. <laughs> like <laughs> your videos. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, uh, well, well, I'm honored actually to take part in your video because, again, <laughs> I just told you before that I'm a huge fan and because I'm a language passionate person so and for me it just you know like uh again like a treasure to find your channel so because when i you know just find out about this i was so excited because it helped me just it gave me even more like insight into you know like the linguistics than at university because i studied ling ling linguistics there and uh yeah <laughs> so i just you know find out more terms and uh things like that so yeah it just was you know it's always been like my, you know, goal to take part in this video because I haven't uh, seen something like Chechen related on the internet and it's going to be the first, <laughs> so, like, video, I think. Yeah. For sure, bro, and, and I'm so happy that we were able to, to do it. And like you said, Chechen is the language that I've never had on this channel before and it's a language that not many people know about, so uh it, it's gonna be really good so you know it's my pleasure i'm so happy that you know you were both able to take part i'm in so this. happy too thank you <laughs> yes thank you a lot so merci right in um so you it's the version of gratitude and uh version and i found out yeah, from so, your video <laughs> yes and how merci is like mm -hmm. merci is like the, the the french word right but it's become yeah. very like an informal common way of saying it whereas like we use sepas, which is like the more Persian, well, it is Persian, it's the more formal way of saying it. Uh, and then we also use the Arabic mamnoon and mutchakaram, so yeah. they, they come from Arabic. So we we kind of interchange between how we say thank you, whether it's the Arabic one, the French one, or the, the Persian way of saying it. Yes, I, I met um, a Persian girl here in Russia, so and she is like, uh, not in Moscow, but in the other region. And she came from for Iran, same here, so and we kind of like touch sometimes. I never met like uh people before and yeah, she also told me that we so yes, but I knew before from